Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com with another PHP tutorial. Um, today we're going to be using PHP and JavaScript to create a seamless image uploader um, that never leaves the page. So as you can see, you choose a file, and we'll click a file, hit upload, and it uploads, and then your image is displayed right here. So we're going to be creating a little application that will do that for us. So over here in Notepad++, all I have is a basic standard um, HTML5 document here with the title of PHP JavaScript image upload and then an h3 tag with the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out. We're going to open a form tag. We're going to close a form tag. And inside the attributes of a form tag, we're going to give it an ID equal to form. Um, method equals post action we'll be sending it to a file called upload.php um, the next will be the encryption type which will be multi-part uh, slash form data and the very crucial part that we'll be adding is a target Let's say target equals and what will this will do is it will target an element on our um, stage here and it will post to it. Instead of going to a new page, it will post to that element. And we're just going to name this um, iframe because we'll be using an iframe. So underneath the form, we're going to create an iframe. And we're going to give it a name equal to iframe, which is the same name we have up here. And we're going to close off the iframe tag. And we're going to go over to our browser here, and just let me go to the right address here. And you can see we have our header tag, and we have our iframe right here. So within our form tag, we're going to need a file input. So we're going to say input type equal to file. We're going to give an ID equal to file as well, a name equal to file. And we're going to close that off. And underneath that, we're going to create a submit button. So type input type equals submit. Name equals submit. ID equals submit. And value equals, we're just going to say upload image. Or upload file. Just do that. Close it off, go back and refresh our browser. And as you can see, we have... Um, choose file and upload file. So right now if we hit upload file what we should appear in the iframe is an object not found. So object not found it says it's trying to find a page which would be our upload.php page. So what next thing we need to do is we're going to create an upload.php page. Create a new PHP document. We're going to save it as upload or save it as same directory as our index.php. Oh, for those of you that I didn't specify at the beginning, um, I just have a file structure with an images folder, has nothing in it, and then in the base directory we have index.php. And then right now we're going to be saving upload.php. So now when we go back over to uh, Google Chrome and refresh, hit upload file, nothing happens. And in the upload.php we could just say echo uh, hello YouTube or something generic like that. Save it, go back to refresh and hit upload file and as you can see it appears in the iframe content right there. There's a couple more things that we need to do on the index page and just for a message we're just going to create a paragraph tag with an ID equal to, uh, we're just going to say message. Doesn't have to say anything. We can just say something like upload message will go here or something like that. And then underneath that we're just going to put an image. Uh, it doesn't need to be a source but I'm just going to apply a style to it and for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to say minimum height equal to we're just going to say 200 and a minimum uh, width of 200. Actually, I'm going to change the minimum width to about 120. 
and then we're just going to say max height is the same as um, 120. I'm going to give the ID of the image equal to um, image. Very generic names, I know. Very creative. I'm just going to put a couple break tags in here. And there you go. We have our image and our iframe. So what we want to do, we're going to get the iframe out of here. We're just going to set its style of the iframe equal to display is none. And that will get rid of our iframe there. It'll still post to it and everything, but I just don't want to look at it. And that was technically how you do it on a website if you are setting it up like that. So the next thing we need to do over in our upload.php, we're going to get rid of this echo statement. And we're going to say two if statements. The first one is we're checking to see if the file that is submitted here in our form, if it's greater than zero, so if there's a file submitted that has a file size greater than zero kilobytes, it's going to run. And the closing bracket for that is right here. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure the file size is less than uh, what this equals is about 150 kilobytes, so 153600. Okay? Because we do not want to upload anything if it doesn't exist as, a, as selected or if it's greater than 150 kilobytes. The next thing we're going to do inside of the middle if statement is we're going to do another if statement that say if uh, the move uploaded file. So what this is basically doing is it's getting the file from the form and it's um, uploading to our images folder and then it's setting the uh, file that it's uploading the name to the same name that was originally for the file. So I mean you could change it to whatever you would like but we're just using the same name for now. So we're going to go ahead and add some else statements here and leave us some comments so we know what we're doing. We're going to say else the upload failed. And then right here, after this uh, closing bracket, we're going to say else. And in this side, we're going to say the file is too big. All right, so the next thing we're going to be using is we're going to be using JavaScript to upload, or not upload because it's already been uploaded, but update our main page here, and it will put the new file that's been uploaded into this image source right here, and it will clear out here or give us an error message, oops, give us an error message depending on if it's not. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to... Uh, this JavaScript code in here, we're going to close off our PHP block, and then at the bottom, we're going to open our PHP block again, so we don't get any errors there. And the first line is parent.document.getElementById, and we're targeting the message element, which is over here on the index page of this paragraph, message. And we're setting its inner HTML equal to nothing, which will remove all the text inside of its tags. The next line is parent.document.getElementById, of file, which is referencing the file um, input field, and it's setting the value equal to nothing, since we don't want a file there if the file has been uploaded. The next is window.parent.updatePicture, which is looking for an update picture function which has not been created yet. So what it is doing, since it's upload.php is technically in an iframe, it's looking in the current window of your browser, looking for its parent um, window, and calling a function within that parent element. And then what we're passing in as a parameter is we're using PHP to echo out our image um, path that we're setting uh, in the upload here. So images slash then whatever the file name is. And then that's it for there. In this else statement, what you want to use is pretty much the same thing. You want to close off your PHP block, then open it at the bottom, and inside there we're going to use JavaScript script tags and we're going to reference the message element again using inner.html and this time we're going to print um, in a red font there has been an error uploading your image please try again later 
And the same goes for when the file is too big. You're going to be using uh, the message field again, and we're going to just say your file is larger than 150 kilobytes, so please choose a different picture. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to create this update picture function in index.php. So as you can see, I've already have it uh, typed out here, and pretty much in the head tag or open up uh, JavaScript script um, tags, and the function will be called update picture, and the parameter will be pick p i c, and then all this is doing is it's getting the document dot get element by id, and it's referencing the image um, element here with an id of image, and it's setting its attribute or source attribute equal to this picture location. So when we go over here to Google Chrome and we hit upload file, nothing happens. But if we hit choose file, we're going to pick a picture. We're going to choose this plane. I'm going to upload. And as you can see, our picture shows up right there. Go ahead, we're going to pick another picture. I'm going to pick this picture and hit upload and as you can see nothing fails and we have this picture here and the error message has went away at the top if you refresh upload picture message will go here comes back and if we go over here into our directory of our images you can see those two pictures have been uploaded here as well so everything's working out um, I'm going to be uploading um, the source code for this into the TimKip tutorial code bank. So just go to the code bank here. You do have to be a, a logged into the site to access the code, but I'm going to be putting it in uh, the JavaScript field, the PHP field, and the tutorial source code. So I will have links to all of that in the video description below and also on my site if you're watching this there. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Because um, I know a couple people on my site have been asking about how to upload an image using J or JavaScript. And so I'm not using jQuery in this, but I just feel like this is one way that you could do it with an iframe. So I hope you enjoyed. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And come check out the website. I'll see you next time.